What up guys? With the Agave guys, on the Agave guy, uh, press F in the chat for Loki. Uh, he couldn't make it this week, uh, he's not feeling good, don't worry, it's not Corona virus, it's um, food poisoning because uh, Loki has a weak stomach. But uh, this week we are gonna review, I'm gonna review on um, the Patron Cherry Case. Let's get into the review. Before we get uh, started in the review, I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, we hit 50 subs. Yeah! Also, like to, like, the, like to see that you guys are enjoying the video. So, again, we are trying to review Unique Tequila. So, and, uh, let's get started. About some fun facts about the Patron Cherry case. Um, according to Patron, they age it in Oloroso Cherry cases for two years uh, Oloroso that means smelly which uh, I think it's a romantic name for uh, tequila but uh, what is that uh, the Oloroso case is a whiskey case the age is um, Spanish wine which is the Oloroso wine um, the Oloroso cherry wine which I have no idea how it tastes because I've never had it I'm not really into wine it just and uh, this uh, particular Patron came out in 2018 in the duty free uh, stores and um, you, I'm assuming it did it really well there so they moved it on to the, ma the masses um, this bottle retails from uh, $89.99 to like 100 bucks right now in some Costco's you can find it for like 70 bucks because we picked it up so I mean it's not too expensive but it is um, not too cheap to get um started with the looks i mean it's pretty much a patron bottle you know he has the uh, cases in the front and in the back it tells you um how they age it you know limited production and all that um it looks like a, a patron bottle just longer not as fat okay now to move on to the aroma um, I'm just getting a bit of light butter. Um, a lot of case, a lot of wood, a lot of smokiness. Um, so the smell, you know, very um, smoke, very unique. Um, I haven't had a tequila that smells like that. And, I mean, it's called a smelly cherry. <laughs> but drawn, so um, time to move on with the taste. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hour. No notes of agave. Heavy notes of barrel. Welcome, everyone. We are the agave guys. Today, we're going to be reviewing Don Julio of 1942. My name is Lope. Very small hints of caramel. Um, not getting a lot of agave on this one, mostly. Um, it's good, you know, it's unique. Um, not getting much agave, you know, vanilla. A lot of um, smokiness. They should have this one the not smoky like the other one they have. Overall, very unique. Um, it tastes like um, like a barrel. Um, I didn't get any hints of agave on that. Uh, let's uh, move on to our review part of the video. Um, for the looks, I gotta give it out of ten, like a six out of ten. I mean, it's just a, I'm a fan of the Patron bottle. You know, it's like when people think of high end tequila, the first thing that comes to think to is the Patron bottle. You know, nice pour. Uh, glass looks like it's um, old school glass, like they blew, they blew it up. Um, it says Patron, I mean, it is just a Patron bottle by, by it being longer. So, overall, 6 out of 10 for the looks. Pr um, the price isn't too bad. Um, at 90 bucks, I think it is kind of expensive, but if you can pick it up at 70 bucks, that's pretty good. And, um, so for the price, I have to give it probably like a 
if you picking it up at night at uh, eighty dollars, I mean ninety dollars, I have to give it like a probably like a six because it is aged for two years, so you have to take that to effect to the price. So I'm gonna give it a six out of ten for ninety dollars, and if you can pick it up at um, seventy dollars, I'm gonna give it a seven point five. So, I mean it is um very unique. I mean this is the only tequila that tastes like this, you know. So very unique so if it, you can pick up a 70 i'll give it a 7.5 and um for the taste review I, I mean i don't know what to compare it to um it is pretty much like drinking a barrel and wood um if you i think if you're into like bourbon or whiskey this is like the tequila for you but if you're like expecting a, a smooth añejo like a tapatillo or like um, even a antenacio this is in, um, nothing like a smooth añejo overall the taste was unique so for the taste I'm gonna give it uh, 6.8 um, again I didn't expect it to taste like that I expected it to be like uh, an añejo and it didn't taste like an añejo so that was our review for uh, the Patron Sherry Case um, let us know if you um, tried this tequila before. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm Manny. Ciao.